Hey guys, what's up? It's your sunny trainer, Sydney. Welcome back. Today I have a cycle bike warm up for you guys. This one is gonna be about 10 minutes. Really great routine to use before you even hop on your cycle bike and get ready for your workout. All right, we're gonna start off the bike. Our first exercise is going to be a squat with a reach. So put those feet nice and wide. We're gonna squat down, touch our toes if you can, raise those hands up and overhead and squeeze it back up. We're gonna do 10. Two, keep that core nice, tight, and engaged as we move through this motion. Four, squat nice and low. Good. Really warming up those legs, stretching out that back, getting ready to go. Nine, one more. Good. All right, let's warm up those arms really quick. So give me 10 arm circles back. Eight, nine, 10. Let's switch directions. Going forward now. Good, shake it out. Let's do some ankle circles. Warm up those ankles. We're gonna do 10 each direction on each side. Really get that good full range of motion. Wanna make sure our ankles are warm. Switch to the other side, as well as our calves, because we're really gonna be using those today for our ride. Okay, good. Let's head on down to the mat. We're gonna do some low lunges with a T-spine twist. So come up into plank position. We're gonna bring that right leg forward into a low lunge. Feel that nice stretch. Brighten those hip flexors here, as well as your hamstrings. You might feel it on this other leg a little bit. We're gonna take our right arm, same as the leg that is forward, we're gonna stretch it up and reach towards the sky, giving that T-spine a nice twist and a little stretch. Step it on back. We're gonna step to the other side now. So left leg comes forward and left arm comes up and reaches towards the ceiling. Nice. We're gonna do five of these on each side. So take your time, really opening up so many of those muscles that we're gonna be using on the bike. Two, let's get three more on each side. Three, Last one. Oh, so good. Bring it on down. We're gonna go right to our hands and knees and do some cat cow. We really wanna make sure to stretch out that spine before we hop on our bike because posture is so important in cycling. So give that back. A nice curl upwards through the spine and down into an arch. Take your time, really feeling through each vertebrae as you stretch on through. So good for the back. All right, last one. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna come on down to our mat and do a quick ab exercise. It's so important that your core is activated while you're cycling. That's where your power is going to come from. So let's wake up that core. 
This exercise is called dead bugs. So what you're going to do is extend those arms straight up to the ceiling. Legs come up as well at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna drop your right leg and left arm, opposite arm, opposite leg at the same time, and then bring it on up. Feel that core get nice, tight, and activated as you move through this range of motion. We're alternating here. So right arm, left leg, and right leg, left arm. Let's get two more on each side. All right, roll it on up. We're gonna head over to our bike now. Great job on those exercises. Now that our body is nice and warm and mobile, hop on up on your bike. We're gonna start out with a nice and easy one minute cycle. Good job. Nice and easy pace, whatever feels good to you. We're gonna start nice and light. Don't worry, we'll ramp it up in a few minutes here. We'll put on a little cadence and some resistance as well to really make sure that you're nice and warm before you start your workout today. Take your time. If you're still clipping in, that's totally fine. I wanted to make sure we had a little time to adjust from the ground to your bike. All right, we've got about 10 more seconds and then we're gonna put on some gear and get focused on our RPMs. Okay, ready? Let's crank up that resistance a few turns here. It should feel nice and medium. I want you to be feeling those legs. And let's aim for a cadence of 70. Nice. How's your posture? Let's get focused in on our form before we start our workout today. Your core should be nice, tight, and engaged. Spine is straight. We have a nice light grip on the handlebars. Your elbows should be nice and relaxed. And your posture nice and upright. So shoulders are down and away from your ears and back. Chest is nice and proud. Good. All right. In a few seconds here, we're gonna kick it up to 80. Ready? In three, two, one, let's push. ADR PMs. If you don't have a cadence monitor on your bike, that's totally fine. Just follow along with my pace because I'll be tracking our cadence on my monitor right here. Ten more seconds, and then we'll scale it back. Doing awesome. Three, two, one. Let's slow it back. 60 RPMs. Find your 60. It should feel nice and easy. Let's catch our breaths. We're gonna be going up into 85 RPMs. I really want to push your pace before you hop on your bike for your workout. Just a few intervals. And then we'll be ready to go. 
All right, in three, two, one, taking it up to 85 RPMs. Push that pace. This is gonna be the fastest cadence we're gonna take in this warm up today. and scale it back to 60. Good job, you guys. First one down, we're gonna do one more. Ready? In three, two, one, back up to 85. Come on, pump those legs. Let's really make sure our bodies are warmed up here. You've got it, almost there. 10 more seconds. Great work, and scale it back. Take that resistance off if you need. Great job today, you guys. Take your time, grab a sip of water, get everything adjusted before you start your workout. Amazing job on this warm up. We'll see you guys next time.